Hello, and welcome to an Albert S. Cook Library video, Finding Articles in ScienceDirect. ScienceDirect is a database that contains academic journal articles, encyclopedia articles, book chapters, conference papers, and several other types of scientific information sources. It's a great place to look if you are looking for scientific research articles, and it's relatively easy to use even if you don't have previous database searching experience. First, let's get to ScienceDirect. Start from the library homepage, which is libraries.towson.edu. Scroll past Cook One Search, which is this big search bar at the center, and select the teal box on the far left labeled databases. This brings you to a page that lists all of the databases we have access to through Cook Library. Select the letter S from this alphabetical listing at the top and then scroll just a little bit until you find the link for ScienceDirect on the list. If you're off campus, it will ask you to log in with your TU username and password, and then from there it should take you to this advanced search page. Now there are a lot of search boxes here, but most of the time you are only going to need one or two of them. The most important one is this first search box that's selected already that says find articles with these terms. This is where you want to type in the topic that you're researching. Today I'm interested in learning more about invasive species, so I'll type that in now. One useful tip for database searching is that if you have a topic that is two or more words long, put it in quotation marks like I've done here to search for that exact phrase. So instead of finding articles that say invasive in one paragraph and species somewhere else, Putting the phrase in quotes makes sure that I'm only getting articles that say that full phrase. The other search box you may find useful is the one that says years. If you're looking for articles that are really current or that were published within a particular time frame, you can use this box. If I type in 2017 to 2022, for example, I will only get articles that were published within those five years. Now I can scroll to the bottom and select the blue search button to start looking for articles. So you can see at the center of the screen I've got a list of articles that are about invasive species. I can use some of these options on the left to help me narrow my search if I'm looking for something specific. Under refine by there are several options. The first you can see is years, so if you changed your mind about what time frame or you forgot to set that before, you could adjust it here. But the one I find the most useful is article type. This lets you choose what type of source you need. In some classes, professors might ask you to find a primary research article, for example. That type of article is an original research study where someone conducted an experiment in the lab or in the field and they have written up the results of that study. In ScienceDirect, those are all categorized as research articles. So to find a primary article, you can check that box and your results will update to only have that type of source. There are several other options there as well. If you wanted a literature review, you could select review articles. There are encyclopedia articles and book chapters. If you hit show more, there are many other source types there as well. So those can be useful if you have something specific in mind. Now, when we look through our results list, there's quite a bit of information about each source available for us. The first thing you'll notice is that it tells you what type of source it is. So here, this one says research article, which makes sense because I selected that option at the left. So we know this is a primary source. It also tells us that we have access to this one. In fact, it's open access, which means that it's available to anyone, even if they don't have a library subscription. Then we have the title of the article, where it was published, so what journal it's in, the date, the author names, and then we have a little bit more information underneath. If I wanted to, I could download the PDF right from here. Or to get more information about the article, I could select abstract 
And that brings up a short summary of the article, which can help me decide if it's something I want to read. If I do want to read it, I can click on the title of the article, and that will take me to the full text in HTML form, so I can view all of it just right here within my browser window. One nice thing about viewing articles this way is that they have a clickable outline on the left, so you can easily select an option to jump to that section. For example, I just selected results, and here I am at the results section without having to scroll. If you prefer to read things in PDF format, you have that option as well. At the top of the screen, there should be a blue view PDF icon. Select that, and that will allow you to download the file where you can save it in a safe place, import it into a citation manager like Mendeley or Zotero if you use one of those, and you should be good to go from there. Thank you for watching. If you have questions, the Cook Library is happy to help visit bit.ly slash tu ask a librarian for details on how to contact a librarian through chat, email, text message, or individual appointment.